Hello, Hunters. Drew with a new build-up boost exhaust build. Exhaust Switch X has gotten significantly stronger this update. With build-up boost, exhaust file switch axes deal better raw damage than power files, while also having an easier time maintaining amp state. On top of that, we get all the benefits from exhaust. We'll get flinches, KOs, and monster exhaustion. I will have a standard build as well as a vampire build with blood right. So let's get right into it. In title update 2, we got the build up boost armor skill from the Risen Camellios armor set. This skill increases our raw damage every time we apply a status, and this is amazing for exhaust because we apply status on every sword hit and foul burst. At level 3, this is essentially an increase to our damage by 20%. For this build, I will be recommending the Tigrex Switch Axe. The reason for this is that negative affinity has a lower effect on Switch Axe since the foul burst cannot crit. So the Tigrex Switch Axe is about the same damage as Reconquerus, except it starts in purple sharpness and has 30 hits of it. The difference in exhaust damage is not as significant in Master Rank since monsters are enraged for the majority of the hunt. When a monster runs out of stamina, it can only enter the exhausted state if it is not enraged. Because of this, the exhaust effect is mostly for finishing the monster in Master Rank. On top of that, for afflicted monsters, once they are knocked out of their enraged afflicted state, the monster automatically exhausts, so exhaust doesn't influence monster exhaustion at all in afflicted hunts. Lastly, it is important to understand that the amount of exhaust applied does not affect the amount of stun we apply, so both switch axes will be applying the same amount of stun when striking the head. I won't be going into more details, but I will have a video explaining how exhaust piles work linked at the end of the video if you're interested. So here's the standard build. For the Tigrex switch axe, I recommend augmenting the Rampage decoration slot so you can put in Foul Switch Boost. This is because with Foul Switch Boost, your axe morph attacks will apply exhaust which means your Axe Morph Attacks will also have the 20% buff from Build Up Boost. However, if you prefer to spam zeros from Discharge, I recommend augmenting all attack and using the Anti-Species decorations. This build will require an Attack Boost 3 Talisman, or you can have Attack Boost 2 Talisman with the 2 slot, and then you put an Attack Boost decoration in there to make it Attack Boost 3. Unlike ordinary Switch Axe builds, this build will use Razor Sharp. This is because the Tigrex Switch Axe naturally has 30 hits of Purple Sharpness. With Razor Sharp, we expect to have 60 hits of purple sharpness, which is good enough for sharpness management. Going over the gear and why we're using each piece, we use the Risen Camellios body, hands, and legs to get build up boost to level 3. We use the Flaming Espinas head for attack boost and razor sharp, and then the Anjanath coil for more attack boost. This build will require augmented slots. The Anjanath coil and the Risen Camellios legs will need to have their 1 slots upgraded to a 2 slot. I have a section here for your own preference. You can choose between having level 2 power prolonger, getting Wirebrook Whisper to level 3, or the new Handcraft level 4 decoration, which will give you about 40 extra hits of purple sharpness. So, for augments, there is a little more to say than usual. You may notice that this build runs Evade Extender 2. This is because we just have an extra level 4 slot. If you augment Evade Extender, Rapid Morph, Burst, or Weakness Exploit, you can just the build for Evade Extender 1 and make use of the level 4 slot for something else. For example, let's say we got the Rapid Morph augment. We can remove the Quick Stitch Jewel 2 and put in an Evade Extender decoration here instead. Then we can remove the Jumping Jewel 4, since now we have Evade Extender 1. Now, we can replace that level 4 slot with the level 4 decoration of our choice. So, the idea with the Blood Bite version of this build is that since we are mostly targeting the head for stuns, we are likely to break it and then be able to heal from our attacks with Blood Bite. The Blood Bite version of this build will have a harder time getting to Attack Boost 7. If you don't meet these requirements and still want to run the build, you will just have less Attack Boost. For the Talisman, you will need at least an Attack Boost 3 with the level 2 slot. To get to Attack Boost 7, you would need to augment one of the skills in the augment list and replace the decoration with the attack jewel, or you could upgrade the slots on the Malzano Waste. It is possible to get a level 1 slot upgrade to a level 2 slot on the Malzano Waste, however, this is much harder than normal because you need to get a double slot upgrade, since we cannot upgrade the first slot until all three slots are filled. As with the other build, feel free to adjust the augments if you'd like to focus on zero sum discharge. So, where does this build land in terms of damage? Something that probably will never change is that element weapons will deal the most damage to monsters that have an element hit zone of 20 or higher. However, monsters with lower element hit zones like Scorch Magnamalo or Violet Mitsutsune, these broad status builds are now very competitive or even better than element. The poison build I put out should do more damage than this one, but this exhaust build is more straightforward to play and doesn't rely on evades. But the general comfort, ease of use, accommodation to different playstyles, and usability against any monster makes the exhaust file builds extremely appealing to use, and I strongly recommend trying it out after this update. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you found this helpful, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I have a video here if you want an explanation on exhaust files. I'll be putting out more content on Tide Update 2, so I hope to see you in the next one. Take care!